Welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell. So when I'm uploading on YouTube, you are notified. Bringing you guys another makeup review. I'm, 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 I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting more makeup coming in. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and just keep growing on uh, with the makeup reviews. Yes, I am wearing my Cubs shirt because I have recently gone to Chicago with my husband. So we went to a Cubs game. So I got my Chicago Cubs shirt on. No, I'm not in Chicago. I'm back at home here in Louisiana. So let's go ahead and get started with this makeup review. Most of this makeup, it is new to me. One is a retest. A couple of things are retest. But most of this stuff is new to me so i got a little i got mostly drugstore got a couple of high-end products here so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this mega review featuring a lot of random products that again that are new to me so let's get started with this mega review okay so as always i do have my handy danny mirror with me first product is a retest i tested this product out a long while back so I decided to give it another shake since I am testing new foundation and new concealer. So I wanted to retest this face primer. Uh, so the primer I am retesting again, this is the NYX um, Marshmallow Face Primer. Um, I have already tested it out um, again a few months ago. Um, it's okay in my book, so I'm giving it another fair shake. Uh, you can't really see, but I've actually worn this a few times. And I'm just going to say, I'm just going to use it all up. Will I get myself another one? No. And I do know NYX came out with another primer. I am going to test that primer out. Um, I do have it. I just have to put it in my rotation of makeup to review for you guys. So yeah. So I'm actually going to try and finish this out first. So I'm going to start with the um, NYX Marshmallow Face Primer. This is a mini size that I have. Uh, the travel size. I did not get the full size because I wanted to see if I was going to like it and I'm just okay with it this is not something that I would get again and I do believe this product went viral on TikTok um, which is why so many people were getting this product yeah I've been using it just to use it all up um, so it's supposed to be a long lasting primer has a slight marshmallow scent uh to it um i did retest it with my foundation from vamp cosmetics as well as the new foundation that i am going to be testing and a new foundation i'm going to be testing out this product also went viral um so i've been testing out this foundation y'all finna see why i like that foundation but first we're going to do this we're going to do this primer and ignore my forehead my forehead is clearing up i've had a very very bad rash and it's finally going away i've been trying some skincare products and it's actually been working so i'm going to get some more and i'm going to do my updated skincare routine for you guys with these products oh my goodness these are new products and i love these products these products help clear this rash up and can i tell you these products drugstore but i ain't gonna tell you what it is yet next is foundation okay this foundation went viral i'm still seeing people talk about this foundation on instagram i just saw it on instagram the other day i just saw one of the youtubers i watch um she her name's angie she goes by hot and flashy on youtube she just talked about this foundation it's one of her top five favorite foundations for mature skin and being that I am a person getting ever so closely to 50 years old, you know, this was a good foundation for what she believes is good for mature skin. And this is, again, a foundation that went viral. This is from L'Oreal. This is their L'Oreal True Match Nude Serum Foundation. Y'all. The only thing I did not like about this is the dropper. I am not a fan of the of dropper foundations. I am not a fan of it. However, however, this is a light, um, 
coverage foundation this is supposed to be more of like a tinted moisturizer that's why they, i guess they call it the serum foundation this is acting more as a tinted moisturizer i'm not sure what shade i have and if y'all know me y'all know my eyes are bad y'all know my eyes are bad but this is the serum foundation i believe i got this from where did i get this either got it from Target or from Ulta. One of the two. I either got it from Target or Ulta. So it does come with the dropper. And it was pretty cakey. It comes, I believe, in like 14 shades. So it's not terrible. But for certain products like these that are more geared like a... Um, Tinted moisturizer, I'm not surprised because most of them do come like that. It does, again, have the dropper like that. So I put it on my skin just so. And can I tell you, it gives a beautiful finish. I don't like the fact that this thing is leaking. I don't like that. That's another turn off for me. This leaks out of the bottle. I think that's the only couple of things I don't like about this is the dropper. And when I try to put it back in, it leaks off the top. So I, I'm not really a big fan of that. But otherwise, foundation-wise, wearing the wear, it's a really good wear. Um, here we go. I'm going to probably with my, my Kabuki brush from Haley's Beauty. So look at the coverage. This is light coverage. Here's what it looks like if you're not familiar with it. I feel with this serum foundation, this was a good match that I picked. If I can find the shade, I will put it in the bottom of the description box. But if you're like me, you're not into super full coverage. You're more of a light coverage up to a medium coverage foundation person or tinted moisturizer this is perfect this lasted all day like literally when i tried this it lasted it lasted all day beautiful finish I am a person with dry skin. It wasn't cakey. Certain things can cake up on my skin. This is not cakey. I may have put a little bit too much on my forehead. Yeah, I may have did a little bit too much, but it's fine. Didn't bring out any of my texture. The only reason is may, you may be seeing a little bit, again, because I'm getting over a rash. That I am that I've been clearing up. Um, but here's the finish. I really do like this finish. It is skin like, and when they said it's the true match nude, it really is nude. I mean, I would went to work with this foundation on. Um, you couldn't really tell I had on foundation. Um, they really did like it. This is something that it did not settle in my line in my um lines underneath my eyes. It did not settle and it did not crease on me at all. So this serum foundation, I mean, it is a winner for me. The finish is really, really good. It's giving me a natural glow. It's what it's doing. Yeah, I, I really do like this serum foundation. And again, if you're like me and you're not into super full coverage, the L'Oreal um, True Match Nude Serum Foundation, it is a great match. For concealer, the concealer is new to me. It is new to me. It has been out for longer. I'm just now picking it up and only because I, 
If y'all hear noise outside, my son is outside on the basketball hoop with the neighbors and they're making a lot of noise. Okay? Okay. <laughs> but anyway, the concealer is new to me. Um, another YouTuber that I have watched, she goes by Dollface Lyric. She stands by this concealer and another YouTuber picked up this concealer and she loves it. Um, so it is drugstore. So I am trying out the Neutrogena Concealer. I am trying it out. I, it is new to me. I know it's been out. It's been out. I know. I know. The shade I have, I believe, is golden. I believe that's the shade I have is golden. I believe this one. Yeah, golden. Almond. I think that's. I think that's it. I think that's what it says at the bottom. I will put it in the bottom of the description box. I think that's what it, I know. It's golden, golden silver. Um, I wore this concealer. I'm going to show you. This seems like this is a pretty. This is not super full coverage. It's a full coverage concealer. Certain people I heard initially didn't like it. It wasn't until I heard Dollface Lyric keep talking about this concealer and she's had to re-up on this concealer. I started seeing a couple other YouTubers talk about this concealer from Neutrogena and they really liked it. So I decided to pick it up to see what was such the hype about it. I see why she likes it. This blends like a dream. This is what it looks like. It is full coverage, very blendable, does not settle at all. I did not have any issues with the concealer. Now, no, no. certain concealers I do have problems with because the moment I put it on, it doesn't take very long for it to settle in my fine lines. I got my daughter on the phone back there. She loud. The only person that's quiet is my husband. He's asleep because he got to get up. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> all right, here's what the concealer looks like. Look at that. And it's giving me the right amount of coverage. Again, I don't need a super, super bright under eye. I know you see a lot of people, they do their concealer. It's very, very bright. They don't really blend it in all the way because they want to show that brightness. Me, myself, I am not into that. I am into more of natural makeup, a natural finish where you don't look so super bright. I do like my concealers at least a shade or two lighter, but I also want it to be where I can blend it <laughs> and it blends well and I can easily form my reverse contour. I'm doing a little bit of a reverse contour. I have not doing, been doing a lot of the concealer here and here a lot lately. I keep it pretty much right here on my chin area. Um, so yeah, I have not really been doing that a whole lot. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I do set my face twice. One of the two setting powders is new to me. It is new to me. The second one is not new. I bought it on my channel before, but the first one is new. Again, hearing some YouTubers talk about how great this setting powder is. So I decided I wanted to try this setting powder out myself. Um, so this is the Kim Chi Puff Puff Pass Loose Setting Powder. Here it is. So I did get this. I believe I got this out of my Ipsy. And when I saw this in my Ipsy, I was going, wait a minute. I have heard so many people talk about this Puff Puff Pass setting powder all right let's see what this puff puff pass is all about um the shade i have is suntan um so that is the shade that i have it is suntan okay okay let me let me show you it. so this is what it looks like it's more of a beigey kind of color that's what it looks like Let me show y'all. I do my regular bake. Yes, I still bake. Don't be talking about me. I know my eyes. And when I bake, I don't bake for no more than 60 seconds because I don't like to leave it on for very long. I really, really don't. I'm trying to flick some of that excess off. So as I sweep this off of my face, 
I'm not really getting the hype from it. I'm, I'm really, really not getting the hype. And I am dusting off my reverse contour. I left it on my face for less than 60 seconds. The first time I tried it, y'all, and I didn't put a whole lot because I wanted to see what it really was going to be like. I'm, I'm not understanding. I, I, I'm not understanding it. I, I, I guess I don't get the hype around it. Um, it is leaving a little bit of a cast on my face. Usually when I bake, I like to do form, uh, form my reverse contour and it blends in very, very well. I don't have a lot of problems with flashback or anything like that. This... It's kind of catching right here. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of ca the powder is catching right here. I'm not sure if I can blame it on the rash that's clearing up on my forehead. I, I wasn't really, I wasn't really getting the hype over the puff puff pass setting powder. I don't know. I, I just wasn't understanding what the big deal was with the setting powder. I just wasn't, it was just leaving a little bit too much of a cast and it's still leaving a little bit of a cast. It really is. And when I went in my car in natural light with the setting powder, I could see the setting powder through my bronzer, through the darker shaded, um, setting powder I could still see it it just didn't look very good and I'm still not impressed with it I'm still not impressed with it y'all I'm just not impressed with it I'm just not the second pot setting powder it is not it's not a new product um this is the beauty blender loose setting powder this is the medium deep shade so I'm gonna go in with that my bronzer I don't have a new bronzer so I decided to whip this puppy back out. I haven't worn it in a while so I picked it back up I have the Morphe glamour bronze in the shade trailblazer so I'm going to put these on Okay, next is blush. Blush is a retest. I tested this out again a few months ago. So I decided to wear it back out, try it again, see how I feel about it. Um, this is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Cheek Heat um, Cream Blush. So I did whip this back out. I'm okay with it now. I'm just going to say that. I'm okay with it now. I am. I wasn't okay with it the first time. I'm okay with it now. You don't need very much of this blush. I've tried it again recently, and it's not bad. It, it, I'm just going to say that it's not bad now. I don't know. I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. But you don't need very much of this. This is what it looks like. You don't need very much of the cream blush. The cream blush, you don't need very much. I made the oh, woo, gone off a mistake, and I did too much it's like i just did a few minutes ago and oh my god i look like a clown y'all i look like a clown i know y'all wondering why am i putting cream after i just did powder there's a trick that i do and i've mentioned it before um how i'm able to put cream on top of powder um very very easy um well, all you have to do is once you put it in that spot you don't swipe pat or more of just tapping motions. That's really all you need to do. You don't need to do all that. All that. You don't need to do all that. You, need all that. you, you really don't. You really, really don't. Here you go. Here's my brush. So I'm just going to take it. And I'm just going to keep it in my cheek area. I'm not putting it anywhere else. I don't get the concept of putting blush on your nose. I don't get the concept, y'all. I don't understand. I don't and see, with me keeping it in that area, I'm not lifting my makeup. Now this, yeah, I did the same thing like I did the last time I wore this. I put too much on this cheek. I have too much, so now I have to transfer it on this side. There. That's all I had to do. So see how pigmented that is? That's very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. Now this side looks like a clown. Okay, next is eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is also a retest. I tested this out several months ago. I was on the fence with it because I was more of, 
Why is this $68 eyeshadow palette not impressing me? Why is it not impressing me? It was not. So I decided to try it again. I decided to try it again. Um, so the eyeshadow palette, this is from Natasha Denona. This is the Natasha Denona bronze eyeshadow palette. I am trying this again. I am trying this eyeshadow palette out again. I, I am. I'm trying it out again. I was not impressed with it the last time. I was not. So I decided to give it another fair shake because that is how I am. I give things a fair shake. So if you're not familiar with the eyeshadow palette, this is what the palette looks like. This shade at the top here, it broke on me right here. So that's why I'm kind of being careful with it because it broke. So let's see. I think on my crease area, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this shade again. I wanna say the last time I wore this, when I tried it out, it gave me color this time. It gave me color this time. I got color this time. So we're going to start with that shade. We're going to blow it out. And I'll put it in my crease area. See, it's giving me some color. That's why I was so on the fence with it. Because I'm like, this palette is too expensive to not give me no pigment. It's still giving me, I'm, I'm still feeling about the same. However, if you're one of those people, you're not looking for super pigment, you're looking for a natural look or like a work look, this palette will be very, very good for you. This is a very good fall um, eyeshadow palette. That's what this is more of, more of a fall eyeshadow palette. All right, so for my crease area, I'm going to go in with this shimmer shade that is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that shade in my crease. Now the shimmer is pretty. The shimmer is very pretty. Right, so here's my eyeshadow look with the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Again, it's an okay palette. Um, I did expect a little more pigment from this eyeshadow palette, but I have seen some other people, they were kind of mixed on this eyeshadow palette as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not bad, but it's not spectacular either. It, it, it's, yeah, it's... I, I'm like this with it. I'm not up. I'm not down. I'm just in the middle with it. Next is setting spray. Again, another retest. I'm retesting this out again. I'm retesting a whole bunch of stuff out. Um, this is the Catrice Prime and Fine. Um, this is the multi-talent um, fixing spray. So you can use this as either primer or water to... Um, for the base for your makeup or you can use this as setting spray. I use this as setting spray. The sprayer is a little intense. I'm not a real big fan of the scent of this. Um, I don't know why this is reminding me. This could be a dupe. Possibly be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray because the scents are so similar. The scent is so similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. So this could pass as a possible dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. All right, next is mascara. I bought this mascara a couple of years ago. I wasn't a fan of mascara. I believe they reformulated these mascaras. So I'm trying them again. This is from Black Opal. This is the Black Opal Mascara. I believe it's their volumizing mascara. Again, I tried this out a couple of years ago. Um, and I want to say it was part of my makeup no nose. I did not like it. Um, I tried it again. We're going we gonna, to we gonna try this. We're going to try this. We're going to see. Okay, so here's my eyes with the mascara. If you're like me and you're not into false lashes, but you're looking for a volumizing mascara, 
I'm still kind of on the fence with this. Um, um, uh, it's giving me some volume. It's giving me some, but not what I expected. I think the first time I wore this mascara, it gave me almost no lift. Now it wants to give me lift. Yeah. Now this wants to give me lift. So I'm kind of... I'm kind of on the fence with this mascara. Again, it's, it didn't give me lift before. Now all of a sudden it wants to give me lift. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, last is lip. This is another lipstick I got. Um, I got this lipstick when I bought another lipstick um, with this brand. And I recently did a makeup review with another color. I believe I got another color. This is from Oma Beauty by Sharon C. This is their lipstick. I believe the sh I'm not sure of the shade. I believe that's the shade. If you can see. I believe that's the shade. I believe that's the shade. I can't see y'all because y'all know I don't have my glasses. I don't have my glasses y'all. But that's the shade. Um... Their other lipstick, it was okay. This is gonna be my first time trying this shade. Let's see. Okay. Uh. Oh, this is red. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. Something about this red. I like this red. Ooh, I like this red. Oh, I like this. I like this red. Woof. Make sure I ain't getting none on my teeth. I can't stop getting over this red. I can't get over this red lip, y'all. I can't get over this red. I love this color. I love, I love this color. I love this color. I'm glad I picked this up. I love this color, y'all. I love this color. I'm gonna top it with just a clear gloss. I'm ready for Christmas and it's just June <laughs> with this lipstick. So that is it. Let's go back through all of this makeup. Um, let's talk about it. Again, I can't get over it. I like this. This Alma Beauty by Sharon. See this lipstick? I love this color. I had the other color. Um, I'm gonna retest that color again, but Ooh. This was my very first time putting this lipstick on. This was my first time. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. So this lipstick is definitely going into my everyday stash. Black Opal Mascara. I'm gonna I'm willing to go ahead and give it another shake again. Um, because the first time I wore it, it didn't give me any volume. This time it's giving me volume. Um, so I am gonna put this mascara in my maybe stack. A puff puff pass uh, loose setting powder I uh, it's not giving me the wow factor however I'm willing to give it another shake so I will put the kimchi puff puff pass setting powder in my maybe stack the Natasha Denona bronze eyeshadow palette Again, it's not a wow factor for me. It's a good, the shades are more for the fall or if you're looking for a simple eyeshadow look for work, this is going to be your palette for you. I don't know how often you would wear a $68 eyeshadow palette to work because uh, with some of these shades, I can use these mini um, bite-sized eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f. that's three bucks and wear that for work. Um, but this would be more of something like a special occasion kind Type of deal I don't know um, this was in my maybe stack because this palette is $68 I am moving this into my everyday stack trees prime and fine multi talent setting spray um, I'm feeling about the same with the setting spray I mean it set my makeup giving me a little bit of a glow um, let me say this it's okay it's not really my cup of tea do I see myself buying this again? The answer would be no. What I will do is I will move this to my everyday stack. However, 
Um, once I'm done with it, I'm, I'm just not going to purchase it again. Um, it's still irritating my skin a little bit. Um, again, it also could be because I'm still getting over this rash that was all over my face. So, and this was already sitting in my maybe stack. So I am going to move that to my everyday stack. The Maybelline Cheek Heat Cream Blush. Okay. I like it now. I like it. I like it. As you can see, it gave a nice color. You only need a little bit of it. Um, so I am very impressed with it now. I do like it. Again, all you need is a small bit of this cream blush and a little bit literally, literally goes a long way. So this cream, this cheek heat cream blush will be in my everyday stack. The NYX Marshmallow Face Primer. I am literally finish, finishing this out. I don't get the hype over it. I mean, it didn't do nothing. I didn't see nothing spectacular with this with this primer. Um, again, I'm finishing it out because I did use it for my um, video for my other YouTube channel. And I also uploaded it on my Instagram and my TikTok. Um, once I finish this out, I am not going to get another one. I'm going to move it to my everyday stack for the simple fact that I'm almost out of it. <laughs> and... I'm just trying to use it up. So I am moving it to my everyday stack. I just don't see myself purchasing another one. The Neutrogena Concealer. Oh my goodness. Where have I been? Where have I been? Another great find. Again, the YouTubers that are sticking with this concealer, I see why you're sticking with this concealer. This concealer is good, very blendable, and it's affordable. It's not expensive. This is drugstore. You can get this at on the drugstore side of Ulta. You can get it at Target. You can get it at Walmart. I love, love, love this concealer. So this concealer, favorite 2022. True Match Nude Serum Foundation. I am not a fan of the dropper. It is messy. When you try to put it in, it does leak, as you can see. However, it is a coverage that I really go for. It is a light, it's medium full coverage foundation. Um, it's more, and I'm saying foundation, it acts more of a tinted moisturizer than it does a foundation. Um, but I really do like this. I see why so many people really do like this serum foundation. And then it's affordable on top of that. It's a drugstore product. I love the product. Again, I'm not a fan of the dropper or the packaging or anything, but the foundation itself, it is awesome. So this L'Oreal True Match Nude Foundation will be in my everyday stack. So that is it with this makeup review. Little drugstore, little high-end, a lot of stuff I was retesting. So I am still bringing more products. The next two videos, very, very excited for. The next one I'm going to be doing for you guys, I'm bringing it back again, guys. But it's just me by myself, not the review with my kids. I am doing another YouTuber favorite makeup, the 2022 version. And boy, I got some YouTuber favorites for y'all. And I'm actually bringing a brand for you guys for the first time, which that is going to transfer into the following video I'm going to be doing as well. So with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall of Every Great Day. Take care. Bye-bye.